Hey there, hope everything's going well for you. Uh, I received a question in my YouTube channel uh, about the stimulus payments that we received. So I thought I'd make a video and go through the tax side of those stimulus payments. So we had the CARES Act that passed earlier this year. And as part of that act, there were stimulus payments that were sent out. And if you recall, it was $1,200 to every adult and $500 to every dependent child, as long as the income thresholds were met to qualify for those payments. Now, the way that the payments work is they are actually an advance credit on your 2020 taxes. Now, obviously, we haven't filed 2020 tax returns yet. We still have uh, a couple months left here to go through the year. So is what the IRS did is they said, OK, well, we're going to use the 2019 returns as an estimate for 2020. And if 2019 returns haven't been filed yet, then we'll use the 2018 returns as an estimate for those stimulus payments. So they went back and looked at those and they said, OK, you know, anybody uh, you know, I believe the threshold is 150,000. If, if you had $150,000 or less, then, then you qualified for these stimulus payments. And then in the 2020 year is when they all came in. So there was a question about, are these taxable income? And the IRS has said no, and the, and the law was written that they are not taxable income. So it's not income that you have to claim on your, on your tax return. So you won't be taxed on, on that. Um, then the other question is, okay, well, what happens if we got too much of a credit? Let's say our 2018 or 2019 returns qualified us for the credit, but our 2020 income, maybe something happened this year. We had, we had a, a good income, you had a good, good year, and, um, and you would no longer qualify that for, for those credits. So um, the way that the law was written and the IRS has confirmed that if you received too much of a credit, then that's, you won't have to pay that back. Um, the flip side of that also is that if you didn't receive enough of a credit or you never received your credit, your stimulus payment, that that will be taken care of on your 2020 return. So for someone that maybe their 2018 and 2019 income was too high to get that stimulus payment, but now in 2020, they would qualify uh, when they file their 2020 return that should show up as a credit on their return, that stimulus payment, and either reduce the tax that's owed or increase the refund that they'll receive. So there may be a uh, an incentive to file returns sooner than later for people that fall into that category. Uh, also, if you didn't receive enough of a credit, let's say they used your 2018, 2019 return and you, you know, and, and you had a kid um, somewhere in there, you had another dependent. So is what they'll do is that they will uh, true that up on your return and, and you'll get that additional credit. Um, the opposite doesn't happen. So let's say that you had a, a child that, that qualified in 18 or 19 and then they got too old or they no longer qualified for the credit at that point uh, for 2020. Um, supposedly they're not gonna make you pay that, that, uh, that back. Um, now, when all of this happened back in, I want to say 2008 under President Bush, we had some uh, stimulus payments that went out then with the economy that was kind of in, in rough shape. And we had to get, as tax preparers, we had to get the amount of credit that the taxpayer received and report that on their return so that it could be trued up in that way. So expect that to happen when you file your 2020 tax return. You're going to have to report how much of a stimulus stimulus payment you received and the IRS may send out a document or there may something uh, will likely come out that will report that so you know how much to report on your return uh, and then there'll be that kind of truing up if you didn't get enough you should get a credit to, to get you to the right amount if you got too much there shouldn't be any detriment to you um, uh, that way as well so uh, that's the way that those credits are working. Um, I did have a question from a client that um, was uh, had gone through a divorce and remarried, and now uh, sometimes they claim the kids and sometimes the other person claims the kids. So th when they got that credit on their return uh, for that child, um, the IRS should probably should be matching those social security numbers, right? So let's say um, the the wife claimed it claimed the, the the child on the 2019 return. They got a stimulus based on the 2019 return for that child, and then the next year the husband files a return and claims that child there. 
um, there should be a mechanism or a way to, that identifies, okay, the credit was already claimed for this child and there is no more credit to claim so that that husband, when he files, wouldn't get that, that credit that way. So um, they'll be working through that, uh, I'm sure, uh, when we do tax returns uh, on how that will work. Uh, but anyway, that's how those stimulus payments should work on tax returns. And um, yeah, like I mentioned, um, you know, that was a question in the, the YouTube channel there. So if you have um, questions, feel free to, to post them and I'd be happy to, to answer them. Uh, questions on the stimulus payments or questions on anything else tax related. Um, and let me know. I, I enjoy answering tax questions and researching them and would be happy to be a resource and help you there. So hope you have a great day.